Hi, Barb here. Today I want to talk about self-oppression. You know, unfortunately, most oppression comes not from others, but from a source we least expect, and that's ourselves. You know, self-oppression is the condition of letting our negative thoughts and actions restrict us. It's kind of like an inside job, you know, a burdening of our spirit because we worry and we fear and we, that just all distracts us. And, you know, none of us want to be the cause of our own failure in life, yet most often we are. So how do we stop that self-oppression of ourselves? You know, sometimes self-oppression is evident wherever we limit ourselves. Uh, say we might stay at home instead of going out because we're too anxious to explore or we procrastinate on an important assignment or an exciting new venture because we're afraid to reach out and see what's on the other end and what might be out there. We're just too afraid so we procrastinate. And, you know, sometimes we just lie to ourselves, you know, and we break our own resolutions, you know, and we allow our dreams to drift away and to slide away because we, we just don't, we fear too much of what may be out there and, or we fear of failing. So self-oppression is really something that we put on ourselves and we think that others do it to us, but really we are the worst for self-oppression. So read the blog below to hear more about what I have to say about self-oppression and what you can do to prevent that in your life. Click on that link below and read the blog and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.